Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill once again, about to record the next episode of this special research challenge, Lithium Man challenge game for spellcasters with Zalea, level 23, Dark Elven Priestess. And in the last episode we started uh, clearing this greater giant vault. I will definitely right now continue with it because I am damn looking forward to see what we can loot from this place, what loot we get from this place. Just by the way, uh, those of you who have been watching my channel uh, for a longer time will know that uh, during my very first Adam last play with uh, Gordizzle, I once uh, um, asked the question if there are actually female Adam fans around or if it's just an empty phrase if I always say hey guys and girls. And actually now, more than half a year <laughs> after I recorded this video, a uh, female Adam fan has uh, I said hello on my uh, Godizzle video and uh, <laughs> I think that's amazing. She wrote some nice comments on the other videos and I think that's totally cool. So I have every right, a huge iron hammer, okay? Every right to, uh, to say guys, girls. So, here we go. Attention with the note. This huge iron hammer, what might that be? Is that an artifact hammer? I really don't know. Fire giant corpse, cool. That was maybe the only artifact in here. I think so at least. So I will eat. Maybe at first one more stomach septia, and then the fire giant and the overlord that we carry with us. Wait. Overlord. Stronger. And the fire giant. Well, no strength increase. But uh, we got, uh, all in all, we now got two points of strength from this uh, greater ward. That alone would have made it worth to get here and clear it. Okay. But now, well, not completely scored, but now we have. Now comes the interesting part, because I want to see what we found here. Where are our scrolls of identifier? 13 scrolls of identifier, I just have to bless them. Scrolls. Come on, where were you? I just saw you, I'm absolutely sure about that. Yeah, here they are. And I'll dip them into holy water and directly read the first of them. Scroll of Identify. So, let's see what we've got. Um, don't need this adamantium cap. This is indeed a helm of mental, mental stability and that's a great thing to have. Um, mm -hmm. Got two pairs of blue dragon heart gauntlets. Uh, I will drop one of them. On it now. Don't need this light cloak. And also, well, well it's okay. Little girl carrying strength. Amulets. We found a couple of amulets. Maybe there's something I spawned in. Rapid healing. Greed. No, nothing. Don't need the amulet of greed. Presses of protection zero, 0. Also not so nice. Weapons. Let's check that. Adamantium longsword, no. Adamantium spear, no. Club, no. Scimitar, no. Large Eternium hammer, no. Hammer of the Gods. I think uh, the Hammer of the Gods could be a quite nice uh, throwing weapon, if I remember co correctly. I do not exactly remember what it does. I do not need these 200 swords, by the way. But I will I will check it out. We've got a couple of uh, scrolls of greater identifier and I'm going to use them in order to find out. That was again not this uh, marvelous, amazing uh, improvement to our equipment that I hoped for, but well, who cares. Let's check these rings. What do we have here? We do not need all these rings of damage. 
I do not think we need cold resistance either. Uh, more than one ring of fish. Mm. Well, I keep the bat with the cursed one. Because it gets cursed when I equip it anyway. Let's see invisible. Mm. That's cool. Luck, clear mind. No, nothing else. No, I keep the, the, the blessed one. Wands. Wands can also be very interesting. We found a couple of them, so let's check from the downside upwards. Wand of Earthquake. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Webbing, always good to have with many charges. I guess that's all. We've got a Wand of Teleportation, but also nothing too spectacular. Maybe something else to deal with corruption? Would be nice, of course. More mana. No, no, no. Nope, nothing. Scrolls of chaos resistance. Mm. Also not. Well, we are not exactly super lucky with our item drops so far, but well. However. <laughs> Not too bad either. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. Next aim, find the downstairs and descend. I hope that we will not be forced. Okay, we will be forced. No, oh, maybe not. We are able to teleport. So, maybe we can just skip these deaths. Ooh, just um, I hope that we could. Can we get in here? No, also not. <sighs> Sucks. Well, then I'll do it differently. Um, Theorial bridge to this square. Want of digging through the wall. Even more digging. Uh, one more that should well uh, I might now also use the big X one two and two so oh <laughs> there's yet another room and it's once again full of giants <laughs> what a level this is Ring of acid resistance. Well, we are as we are immune to acid, but version of boost. Cool. Just killed a, gr a greater giant wall, so this is definitely nothing that we are afraid of. That was that gam. Maybe the gamma is cool. Who knows? Hold it cloak. No, no, no. Oh, he opened the door. Which results in me saying, fuck you, I will go right now. Uh. <sighs> Where are our jelly slayers? Here, chorus of jelly slaying. Go to distance. Maybe here. Oh no, that sucks. However, I might also kill them. <laughs> Have we got more jelly slayers? Oh, 
overall this is quite a nasty level I'm still not 100% happy with our with what we got uh, from the from the vault but well, honestly you can't have it all here are the downstairs wonderful and we'll directly descend this level somehow seems to be removed from the rest of the world okay And I will change my equipment to a ring of sea invisible. I think. Okay, fish, okay cave lizard, cave bear, no cave tiger, no cave lion, that's good. What about wild cats? No wild cats? Wonderful. Then we have nothing to be afraid of in here. Um, Maybe I'll take that back. We'll see. No, okay. Uh, it's an ancient white dragon. Uh, it's an ancient white dragon. <coughs> ancient white dragons. I do not think that they can do 250 points of damage with a single blow. Especially because we are immune to lightning with our crown. Critically damaged. And kill him. Yes, nice. Does not drop anything valuable? Not really. Anyway, I'm not here to deal with dragons. I'm here to find somebody totally different. And this guy is going to give us something that will really improve our equipment. If we're not lucky with the random drops, we have to make use of those guaranteed ones. This is actually one of the very rare cases that I'm going to get uh, a specific item. Okay, okay, this is... Uh, okay, Autic Arter, too bad. Here you are! Hello, my friend. Wait for me. I'm going to talk to you. This is the Invisible Cat Lord. Thou hast respected the cat race, thus I shall grant upon you this gift. The cat lord suddenly is gone. Nothing but a tiny ring is left of him. Cat-eyed ring. Gonna be equipped. Where is it? Cat-eyed ring. Here. And this is actually the ring of the master cat. I will just uh, read a couple of scrolls of great identify in order to find out what the ring of the master cat exactly does. Here it is. Uh, plus 5 uh, protection value, plus 16 dexterity, plus 16 speed and it should usually give you an increase, uh, increased chance uh, to uh, critically hit in, uh, in melee, but it does not do. But what it does, it uh, makes fate smile upon you and it grants you the ability to see invisible things. Now that I'm just doing it, I also want to see what the um, Hammer of the Gods does. Mm. It just does a whole lot of damage, nothing else. I'm rather surely never gonna use it. Here are the downstairs. Directly use them. Let me take a look uh what the clock says. Oh, just 13 minutes so far. I think we can get a whole lot further. And here we've got a cavernous level. We have to be quite careful at cavernous levels so deep within the cavern's chaos because they might have some nasty surprises for us. White garments, could be cool. That again. And this is a lawful altar. I think we might use this uh, to increase our piety in the direction that we prefer. Man, I just do not want to make any god angry with me. I think a lawful altar is a good chance though. Um, um, so I've got light, okay. I should make sure not to do anything stupid. So at first, unequip 
most of my items. Let's equip this not so good balanced thing. Unequip my armor, my girdle. I can equip a rather useless cape, so uh, my god does not think that I want to fool him. Wait, I can equip my uh, artifacts because they are not in danger of being destroyed. I unequip the shield. This and this and this and this. And the ring of slaying. And the braces of defense. Now. Now. Wait, wait, wait. I do one thing else because uh, it happened to me a couple of times that I messed this up. So at first, let me see if I got a um, scroll of uncursing. I hope I have a couple of them. Scroll of uncursing. Yeah, yeah. I will bless scrolls of uncursing. Scrolls of uncursing. Where are they? Here. Dipping them into holy water. And now drop them right here. Scrolls of uncursing. Here they are. Drop three here. Maybe drop three down there. Oh, six. Oh, it's okay. I think two heaps are enough. <laughs> I mustn't overdo it. So, and now. I will see who will be my first sacrifice. What about you? You're afraid of me, are you? Chaos I. I have a plan with you. Come on, here I am. Chaos I, come here. And sacrifice. Conflict between two uh, ent uh, supernatural entities. And we managed to create a grey shrine. Amazing! Yoohoo! I might just kill this guy. Who's that? Okay, Grey Ooze is. Uh, I I will equip my uh, my stuff before I continue. Um, at least most of it. Um, G. What was that? G was uh, my shield. My ring of slaying. Defense, those, wait, yeah, boots, and crossbow, and also some quarrels. Uh, oh, I cannot find them now. Where are my ordinary quarrels? I use these mythical quarrels. Fine. And I can also pick up these because I will not need them. And now, uh, death ooze. Once again, death oozes. Jelly slaying, please. I do not know if they are chaotic. I don't think so, actually. And he's dead. Fine. But I hope to reach now. I might also equip my armor again. What I hope to reach now is uh, a rather positive piety. piety. Uh, okay, you are a quickling. Bow of hunting. And arrows of hunting. Where are my arrows of hunting? I think I had a stack of arrows of hunting. If I remember correctly. And for this quickling it's definitely worth to take a short look if I can find them. Here they are. Slightly injured, but he regenerates. I should maybe at first uh, injure him a little heavier. But since he's standing next to me I will do it with my with my Elementium longsword of hunting. But I'm 
barely able to hit him, but it works, come on. Critically. Oh, 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 stop that. And he's dead. Did I get a quick link corpse? Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, no, I do not want you to destroy my arrows, but I directly eat this quick link corpse. Wait a moment, at the, at the moment we've got a speed of 141. Now eating this quickling corpse, our speed increases to 144. Three points of speed for free. Female red dragon. Are they chaotic? I don't know, are dragons chaotic? <laughs> Nobody knows, at least not me. Who are you, a doppelganger? While fighting this doppelganger, I will rather wear the Helm of Mental Stability. Doppelganger corpse, gonna be sacrificed. Frost Giant Yarl, okay, these guys are nasty. i rather do this in card mode with magic. Baptism of Fire, should be good against him, yeah. An ancient tome that we never saw so far in the game. Might this be a mighty spell? Cyclops, Chaos Knight. I know the weaknesses of Chaos Knights because I play one in my main let's play at the moment. <laughs> so I wanted to sacrifice him and especially I want to sacrifice this. Bam! Very close to me. Thank you. And we are at neutral equal. That's what I wanted. Finally. Wonderful. So I change back to the amulet of free action from now on. Because I am not in danger anymore of ruining my alignment. Now we can dive again. And just by the way, we've got a whole lot of uh, backup prayers. That was fine. Actually, most of the time so far, when I try to uh, make use of an altar or even convert an altar in the in, in the late game, I totally missed it up and uh, got my whole stuff cursed and <laughs> nothing to uncurse or whatever. <laughs> I'm not so good at this. But now I'm really happy with it. This. Who are you, female black dragon? Oh no! Oh no! Braces of defense, blue dragon high gauntlets. Horus of slaying. Oh fuck. I will kill him anyway. I do not want to drop all my stuff just for one dragon, but uh, that was, of course, that was not worth it. But here are the downstairs. That's good. D37. Getting closer to the end. Okay, water. Even more water. Have we got a whatever a scroll of magic map? Here yeah, we have. But do I want to use it for this level? Really? No. Can we swim? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, but we can dig. Yeah, we can dig. Um. So uh, here, that's what I wanted to see. Just one space of land on the other side. That's all I asked for. And another space of land. If nothing's here, then we will teleport to the one on the other side. That's fine. And here are the downstairs. Nice. Stormy winds howl through these tunnels. There is a stair leading upwards here. The air reeks of zone. Well, let's go back to this level and drop everything that we do not want to lose to uh, we do not want to lose to this uh, to this level. So I might change to an artifact armor, the shirt of the saints. I cannot wear the girdle of giant strength. Oh, <laughs> mm. no shield. Mm. I'm not quite sure. Let me 
see what kinds of gunlets we had. We had white gunlets. Are uh, white gunlets maybe? Are these white dragon hide gunlets? Let me check. No, well, it's ordinary white leather gunlets. Drop them. Hmm. So I should rather unequip my ring of slaying too. Um. Well, that's it. That's how I go in there. Drop everything else. Guess so. Yeah. Pick up. Maybe pick up some very important stuff. What? Um. What do we need? I'm actually not 100% sure if these uh, Ozuna attacks can harm higher metal. If not, that would be great, of course, but I do not want to try it right now in this game. At least not with something truly important. So i rather take one of these Eternium caps, or maybe both of them, they are not so important to me. I take these Eternium caps with me in order to check if they get damaged. Also, I could without a problem equip one cloak. Because we've got so many of them. We've got four cloaks of defense. I will equip one of them. I do not want to go in there too weak. Also, well, I, I drop one. I, I just take one with me. Because uh, the boss enemy that we're going to fight there might become a little tricky in the end. Who knows what he is going to su as a summon? Nobody knows until he tries it out. Are we wearing anything amulet-like? No, but we will. We will take with us one of our two necklaces of rapid healing. Drop the other. Um, don't need any backup weapons. As our missile weapon, we take the Hammer of the Gods. Into the missile slot. Mm. Not need anything of that, or this. Oh well, at least not need. We take the uh, Water Orb with us, with us, just in case we need healing. And we definitely need something to dig, so we need wands of digging. At least, maybe one. This one has not so many charges, but we need more of those. Wands of digging, also take this one. I'll take this one with the many charges, that should be enough. So, um, that's it, get in there. <laughs> Our equipment. Sucks a little. Here are the downstairs. Okay, I just check the right side first. And then I will end this episode and uh, the temple will be done in the next episode. Want to door creation? Okay. Okay, that's it. Oh, 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 oh stupid me. <laughs> Luckily, I recognize it now. I should maybe get myself satiated first. So, something to eat. What do we have here? 15 iron rations. That should be enough. So, it's okay. So, and here I am going to end this episode, but I will directly continue with the session because it's. Uh, Still great deeds to be done today, which is uh, finish the air temple. So guys, see you in the next episode. Bye.